I'm going to share with you some settings and features that a lot of YouTubers don't even know exist. These settings will help you get more views, help you understand your content better in terms of how people are responding to it, and they'll save you a ton of time when it comes to uploading your videos. For this, I'm gonna hop on the computer and show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so the very first one that I wanna show you is related to playlists. Now for this, you would go into your creator studio and then click on the playlist tab and then any playlist that you've created should show up here. If you have not created playlists, you should start doing that on a regular basis because these can surface on YouTube. In order to do that, you just click on new playlist and then you add the videos that you like. But for what I'm going to show you, I'm going to click into this playlist right here. I'm gonna click on the edit icon. And that's going to take me to the page where I've already started collecting these videos for the series on setting up a YouTube channel, which this video is also going to be a part of. Next, you're going to see this little three dot menu right here. If you click on that, then you're going to have this option to come down to playlist settings. If you click on this, one of the things you're going to see here is an option to set as official series for this playlist. So when you're creating playlists, one thing that this will help you with if you create an official series for that playlist is you are telling YouTube that the other videos in this series are directly related to each other in one way or another, and that will help YouTube know to show them next to other videos in that playlist. So it's an interesting way to increase the probability of your videos showing up next to each other as long as somebody's watching one of those videos that are in that playlist. Keep in mind when it comes to the official series playlist, every video on YouTube can only be in one series playlist. So because of that, you wanna make sure that you are thinking this through and that you're being strategic about how you're putting your playlist together. Also on the same exact page, you might also already know that the thumbnail that you have in your playlist is also extremely important because that can impact your click-through rate. So because of that, if you have your video list here of the other videos in this playlist, if you go over to the right-hand side, you're gonna see a three-dot menu for those. If you click on that, you have the option, if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, to set that thumbnail for that particular video as the thumbnail for the entire playlist. The next hidden feature that a lot of YouTube content creators don't know about is part of your YouTube analytics. So for this, you go into your YouTube analytics inside of your creator studio, and then you're going to see the option up here in the top right hand side for advanced mode. Click on that. Next, if you go over to your channel name and you click into that, you're going to have this box pop up with other options. So you want to go over here to this third option, which is called groups. And here you can create groups of content that you can compare against each other. So for example, on the tube spanner channel, I have the channel setup videos. I'm going to click into that. And then I'm going to come over here to the right hand side. I'm going to click on compare to. And then I'm going to go back into groups, and then I'm going to compare that against workflow videos. For this, for the sake of being fair, I'm going to select the date range on both of these to 90 days. And then I can get a quick overview of how they're performing against each other in terms of views, but check this out. If I change this table here to multi-metric table instead of side-by-side -side table, I get this additional information down here in the bottom, and I can start to see which one typically drives more views, which one drives more watch time as a set, which one people typically watch for a longer period of time, which ones typically get more impressions, and which ones people typically click on more. As part of this, another hidden feature is if you click on this little plus icon right here to add metric to table, it opens up this panel where you can add a bunch of additional things to your analysis. So for example, if I wanna see the subscribers gained, then I can see that the channel setup videos drive more subscribers than the workflow videos. Of course, you wanna factor in view counts and things like that into this as well, but it gives you an overview of how one type of content or one format of content compares against the other. And if you click on that plus icon, you can compare all kinds of really interesting information to better understand how your viewers are responding to your content choices. This will help you perform better on YouTube, get more views and grow your channel faster if you do this on a regular basis. As another part of this, there are some things that you can't do math on and that you can't sort by right here inside of your creator studio. So because of that, another hidden feature that a lot of content creators don't know about is you can actually export the current view into Google Sheets or as a comma separated CSV file. That allows you to import it into Excel or any other spreadsheet so you can dig in and get the information that you need to know. The next option that we have on our list is if you go into your creator studio and you come down to the bottom left-hand side, you're going to see this option down here that says settings. Click on that. Once you're in that, you want to click on upload defaults. And what this is going to do is you can put predefined information in here that's going to automatically be a part of every single video that you upload. So when you upload a video, this is going to auto populate and then you can go in and change it to whatever it is that you need. You can also preset all of the other settings that happen as part of your upload process as well. 
And I do wanna let you know, if you do wanna make uploading your videos a lot easier, one thing that TubeSpanner has, if you click into the extension, is they also have an upload assistant. So as part of this upload assistant, it helps you optimize your videos in terms of making sure that the right things are above your show more. You can have multiple preset descriptions based on the purpose that you have for your YouTube channel. There are smart links where you can quickly add specific information to your videos to quickly put together your video descriptions and to ensure that you get all of the right information in there. And you can even use it to pick from videos on your channel that you want to recommend in your video description. This feature by itself is awesome. It's going to save you a ton of time. You can try this out for free at tubespanner.com. I'll put a link to us down in the description below. Now, if we come back to the settings, and just to confirm, we got to this by coming to the settings icon down here. This is the same place we were before for the upload defaults. If you go down to community, a thing that I want to bring to your attention that can help others bring more attention to you is if you scroll down on this community side, you're going to see the option right here for live redirects. Now with live redirects, you wanna make sure that you have checked all channels can redirect to my content. So if you're a live streamer and you have buddies that live stream, this makes it really easy for them to send their viewers your way once their streams are complete. And while we're in this community section, another thing that I wanna bring to your attention here as well that a lot of creators are not currently using is if you click on channel guidelines, this is where you can have this prompt that comes up to remind people to subscribe to your YouTube channel and any other rules that you want to apply or ask people to follow as they are leaving comments on your channel or interacting in your community. When it comes to setting up your channel, there are more than just hidden features. There's also very clear things that you need to do to make sure that you have everything set up properly. I've put together a playlist for you. You can check out right here. That's gonna show you other videos about things that you can do to make sure that your channel is set up properly. Go ahead and click into that now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.